welcome to round one of top A. And looks like we got a Luigi versus King DDD. Looking like it's going to be a real tough match. And running on PS2. King DDD going in and already taking neutral. But Luigi countering the Gordo with Fireball. Oh my goodness, sure you can bring him to a solid 63%. Looks like they're both going even right now with another. So, Miss Shiryuken. Hey, Chase, what's up? You do this for uh, Chase is hopping on the mic. Oh, welcome to comms. We're in definitely in the top eight. The competitors are looking extremely fierce and both getting really close, keeping it at even. Luigi getting knocked off the stage. Looks like he's having some issues. And Luigi cannot make it back. Recovery nerfed. Luigi trying to keep the center and trying to wall him out, but DDD with the inhale. Didi definitely keeping his neutral very strong. Mr. Yukin is gonna cost him. I'm super excited for this match. Uh, this is the first time I believe that these two Knicks have played. Uh, it's gonna be a great show tonight. And again, Luigi just trying to find an opening in order to get him for the KO. Like, trying to get Gordo reverse back at him, but it looks like he gets tosses it back with neutral special. And even in the, in the disadvantage state, he has him walled out. It's so good. Can Feng find an opening in order to just knock him out and bring him down to second stock? Down special, not enough to kill. DDD is heavy, and so it's going to take a lot more than that. Luigi having an... Oh my goodness! And the Gordo is going to take it for stock number two. A 3-1 lead. doing a great job at walling him out right now. Forward air, not enough to take him out, but it's definitely trying to go for a back throw. Get up attack, not enough to kill him, even with Gordo on his side. Still being walled out by the Gordo. And another throw, forward throw might just, okay. He knocked it back. Up special is gonna be enough to bring him back. And still at 195. It doesn't seem to be an opening for Feng to get this DDD off stage. DDD lives forever. He is one of the heaviest characters. He does an exceptional job at staying alive. And is oh that my it? Goodness. Oh Inhales no! Up. And he did Ooh, it with the, the inhale. Not make it back. Welcome to Subway. Would you like cheese on your match? <laughs> Great showing by Hime. Uh, decisive game one. It'll be interesting to see what Nick does. Uh, in game two, Nick has some deep pockets uh, with characters, and so it'll be interesting to see if he switches it up, you know, picks, pulls out another character. Yeah, it looks like Haim plants his stick on DDD. Look, not, you know, it doesn't look like he needs to switch out, but it'd be interesting to see if he did. Bringing it back to Pokemon Stadium 2 for uh, the most neutral stage we have right now. And Haim going back to the in Bowser Jr. Not a character that you see very often. Pulling out the Bowser Jr. That's an interesting pick uh, coming out from Nick. He does pull it out. I believe he pulled it out at a local tournament. He did pretty well with it. Um, he's got a lot of characters. He's got a Ganondorf. He's got an Incineroar. So it'll be interesting to see why he chose Bowser Jr. in this specific matchup. In my personal experience with Bowser Jr., he does have an, a good time walling out DDD when Luigi can't. With both projectiles and the sight special just closing in on him, he has an easier time getting in and also getting out just because of the other two projectiles. Definitely. Uh, strength of Bowser Jr. is that he has great mix-ups and maybe he's planning on using that to get in on DDD. And now both are already getting close to 100%. Fang trying to close in on the percent gap. You can already tell in this game too, uh, he's doing a much better job at uh, just challenging DDD on all the stuff that he normally was getting in game one. Looks like he's having an easier time walling him out compared to last round. Luigi does not have enough tools in order to get that walling, but right here, yeah, he's keeping him on, ed on edge. He hasn't been able to recover. You can tell both these players are definitely uncomfortable in this matchup. It seems like they don't really know uh, the tools that the other players have. They're both giving each other a lot of respect right now. Oh, did he not respecting that forward air off of Bowser Jr. It's not enough to kill him, but it's enough to get him a lot of more damage that he needs in order to kill him. Up tilt, Absolutely. also not enough. Both are now running over 100%. This stock could be anyone's lead. 
Oh no, the inhale. Oh, and the inhale again, but he makes it back this time. Thanks to Sight Special getting yeah, him Mordo there. Takes oh. it off the top. Wow, I wonder if it was a ca case of bad DI. Ooh, back here immediately bringing him and teabagging? Not in my game. Going in for a hard combo, bringing him to 33-41. Great up I think that's the first time I've ever seen that animation. <laughs> up tilt into up tilt, and even rarer the addition apparently. Absolutely. Parry one jab, it's very interesting. Forward tilt, microspace in the forward tilt, great position. There it is, another forward tilt in order to get him some more damage, keep him off of him. Looking clean at 53%. Bang trying to just get back into the neutral and he can't get center stage. Gordo walling him out again. And forward Ray air is gonna be a forward air. Trying to wall him out, but he can't seem to get it just right. Neutral air brings him back. Up out of shield, getting himself out of that sticky situation. Keep him off stage. There we go. Too many jumps on DDD, not enough for the other forward air to come out and take his life. Oh, Mecha Koopa knocked Gordo back. A very interesting technique. Definitely. He's trying to go for another inhale. Ooh, up special. Barely makes it back onto the stage. Huh. This is anybody's game right now. It looks uh, like certainly like he makes the lead, but one good combo will bring it back for Ratchet. Still being walled out by rapid jabs and Gordo. A missed down special could have cost him, but it looks like he, Fang decided to back off. Rapid jab, just straight out beating Koopa Clown Car and not wow. letting Fang get in. Wow, usually that dash attack hits and stays out for a deceptive amount of time. Looks like he just stayed up one extra second on the ledge to make sure that it did not happen. Gordo just being tossed him back back and forth. Definitely up. do that Mecha Koopa, a thorn in his side right now. Like I said, this is anybody's game. It's pretty even right now. And then rolled back into jab. It looks like we're both down to over 100% one stock. That Mecha Koopa is a great tool at keeping that Gordo away from him. And oh, back, the back here, almost taking it. Oh, the a missed opportunity. Looks like Armin both. Oh, oh, Gordo! Attack. Forward air, not doing it. Through. Will he make it back? Oh, he makes it back. This is anybody's game. Almost anything. This is extremely right close. Oh my goodness! Inhale. Oh, and the oh, Gordo, the Gordo spacing. Perfect. Congratulations to Hime for stealing out that. Game. He's taking an extremely close second game.